Hi, it's Chris from TimeToPlayMag.com and welcome to our continuing conversations with Emily Vanek about dealing with kids with special needs and toys. Today, we're going to talk about play dates. Uh, big issue because you've got you've got an autistic son and you've mm -hmm. got normal, I guess is the word, sons, yeah, typical. You, typical sons. Uh, how do you how do you manage play dates? Um, well. Thomas, I said Thomas, Brady is my son with autism. Um, he has a, a, taken a liking to a little girl in his, in his preschool ah. and his mom mm -hmm. the other day was asking about, you know, doing a play date. I always tell the parents straight up front, listen, he's autistic, he might have some quirks and things that you're, you know, don't know about or aren't ready for, right. so, you know, let's have a little conversation before we do the play date. But I love when he gets to um, interact with other kids, kind of more typical developing kids. He learns a lot by them modeling different behaviors, mm -hmm. and, and he really, you can see his mind working when, he, when he's around them. He's seeing, you know, oh, well, they don't, you know, do this one trait, and maybe I should do this instead, so... And how involved are you as the mom in the in the play date? Are you guiding it, or do you just plop the kids down and let them go? I'm a helicopter mom. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Not there. a dive bomber mom, but a helicopter. And they're hovering there. the whole time. No, actually, I crave the adult interaction as much as the kids crave the um, kid interaction. Sure, of course you do. So I'm all about trying to become the mom's new best friend. And, uh -huh. <laughs> and I like to hang out. And also, I like to be there just so that if any questions come up, then she can ask right away, you know, well, is it okay if he plays with this toy? Is it not okay? Um, it, and after a while, I'm sure I'll just drop him off and run because I'll <laughs> well, have he'll a be older and more experienced. <laughs> exactly. And are you seeing over time that, that your son is becoming more socially adept, more understanding of what's absolutely, going on, and absolutely. more? Yeah. A year ago, when he uh, first was introduced to a preschool setting, he basically just wandered around the classroom and, and didn't really even parallel play with kids. Just mm -hmm. kind of, just kind of sat off by himself. And now he's really. He'll sit at the same table as the other kids and kind of watch what they're doing. And his teacher is real great about taking pictures or video during the, the classroom uh -huh. time. And she showed a picture of him. Another child was, was dancing to a song, and then he actually mimicked it. Um, and so that was a huge step developmentally. And also it was cute that now he could, you know, interact with kids on a right. more normal, typical level. Right. That, I mean, I, th I think that's a really, good, a really good point. So what do you do about, what does a mom do about her anxiety? You know, that, that, you know moms, are, moms are, you know, they're just anxious by nature. Yes. But especially in this situation, if you see your child perhaps in the preschool setting, you know, not interacting, do you counsel them to be patient? How do you, how do you talk to moms and I help talk, them feel better? I talk to the teachers okay. um, and tell them, you know, hey, he's probably going to do this and that, and if he does, I'm going to freak out. So, <laughs> you know, just know, reassure me that he's doing okay. And then if there's a big question that comes up, always, you know, that open line of communication, always come and talk to me. Um, and then as for other parents, I was real nervous. I was afraid of if they would judge me, if they would judge my child. And now I just know I just got to jump in. You never know what somebody else is dealing with. They right. may have an autistic child as well. They may have a child with special needs or they may know of one. So I, I have to be so quick not to judge the other parents as well instead of the fear of them judging me. That's great. And, and so you're able to sort of let it go and relax and be in the moment? Yes. Um, I let it go. I don't relax. You don't relax. <laughs> I'll let it go. And now for you, for yourself, this has been a journey for you. I mean, we talk a lot about the kids, right. but, but this has been a journey for you of, right. of realizing what you've just been talking about going through. Yes. And it's been a lot of long nights on the computer and talking to other parents and talking to teachers and therapists. And um, there needs to be just as much of a network for the moms as there is for the kids. Right, that's great. And of course, Emily Emily does uh, special shares her insight on toys for kids with special needs on our website. If you go to the special needs section, or if you click on toys that have a special needs logo, you'll see from Emily's experience uh, how this might work with autistic children. And we hope you'll join us for more of our conversations on children with special needs. And visit us anytime at timetoplaymag.com.